Lee was the pioneer of the automatic musical instrument. In 1845, the first automatic orchestra, called an orchestrion, was developed by Michael Velta. In the early 1900s, the Hoopfeld factories and the Velta factories developed an automatic piano playing device. The see of the rolls were as accurate as the men themselves playing them. You hear an actual recording, an actual reproduction of the pianists themselves playing. Hoopfeld also engineered their phonolist violina, which is a remarkable instrument that played three actual violins plus a piano simulating an actual live performance of violin and piano. Their large orchestrians imitated anything from a small dance band to a symphony orchestra. Mind you, this was done without electronic speakers by the actual playing of real instruments. Does that technology have a limit or could it go the, the technology, unfortunately, came to an end by reason of economics. After the First World War and the subsequent crash of the stock market, in the United States and the depression that gripped Europe all through the 1920s, it was far more economical to install a coin-operated radio or a jukebox. And so the era of the recording gained prominence, and with it grew the speaker technology. Germany. It was called the Phonolist Violina. And it operated by using three real violins and a rotary horsehair bow. And the bow, of course, would rotate faster or slower depending upon whatever dynamics or loudness or softness was punched into the music roll. Although there were three violins, there were only three strings that could ever be used. Each violin had one playable string that was pushed into the rotary bow. But yet, some very exciting and credible arrangements were arrived at. to hear a machine play that was long silent that needed restoration, I had to restore it myself. <laughs> 